let's just skip all the preamble and go straight into it. So this time I'm going to be taking um, a Papalimo mainly because he's Synergy and I have a really good one from when uh, the level 50 uh, era. And of course uh, our Beatrix and our... Uh, it might be easier if I just do this for a moment. Uh, our Beatrix and our Kate Sith. I'm also bringing a Lael Friend because as far as I've seen so far it's nearly impossible to do this without some form of launch. But the good news is that uh, almost everyone and their mother has a Lael Friend. So we can... Uh, I actually will get away with a Toy Soldier here and just uh, kill the two of them in one turn. We'll be a bit greedy and see what we can pull out. Oh! Look at that. So close and yet so far. But that's fine, we can deal with that. So from what I've seen, you want to get around 43 or so turns, even with uh, the launch meta. That's uh, And considering the uh, enemies you're fighting this, that's a really tough order to hit. But uh, we'll push ourselves here and see how well we can do. She's going to do this. And Keita is going to get off his Mog Dance to give everyone a nice Max Bravery and Attack buff. And with that, we'll actually be able to get away with straight up HP attack. So, the main problem is the uh, end boss. It has a ridiculous amount of HP. I tried doing it with uh, cells already, actually. Um, just to kind of give it a test of water, because I'd heard that people were, were struggling. So I brought the full synergy team of a, a Max Out Papalimo... A fairly okay Onion Knight, pun intended, and uh, oh, these are astral fire here, and a uh, like a, a fairly decent cells. So I was surprised to see that uh, it was in no way doable whatsoever. I don't know how they expected you to be able to do it with the synergy team. Uh, I think I ended on like turn eighty or something like that with like eighty k. So uh, not the easiest thing to do in the world, it seems. Alright. So we're mainly just trying to rush through this early wave as fast as possible. I'm not too worried about uh, our ability uses here on Papalimo, considering that uh, I'm going to swap him out for Lael pretty much once he go into the final fight with the boss. Uh, yeah, you'll do that. And then Beatrix will use her Climb Hazard plus plus. Or no, just one plus. So as you can probably tell, I'm also exhausted. <laughs> it's a, been a very long day. So if my uh, thought making, my, my, my processing abilities aren't the best today, uh, don't sue me. <laughs> Alright, so for the most part, we're just going to be continuing to do this with this boss. The only problem is that this has so much goddamn HP. So it just becomes a real slog when you're going through the motions of it. Who knows, if I'm lucky enough, maybe Beatrix will get her uh, Climb Hazard Plus back for the next round. <laughs> Although, looking at the look at the amount that's recharged there, it's not likely. <laughs> Probably again is going to just keep using that Astral Fire. We mainly want him using his Umbral Ice for the final wave, and like I said, we aren't even going to have him around for too much. Uh, you could just battery up the party. And then you should have enough to actually kill one of these easily yourself. Um, I'm going to let her let him kill this one. Because then Beatrix can maybe get away with a uh, HP++. Even without breaking it seems. Alright, we entered into the final wave. We've got a, a fairly decent setup going for us at the moment. Uh, we have no more setup of damage I don't believe. So we will just start dishing out damage I suppose. Uh, I'm going to conserve Papalima, or, uh, the, the transition out for Lael, just for a little bit at the moment. Uh, usually you want to push these back as much as you can until the boss starts uh, putting you into a real danger zone. So, Toy Soldier here. I think this is a nearly perfect moment. So, well, maybe not actually. We'll uh, keep Papalimo in for a little bit longer. And we'll swap him out next turn, I think. We'll do the Thunder Slash, and then we can finally bring in our little friend. 
You don't want to leave Lail, the Lail swap too late, mainly because his uh, main bonus is the field burst and the forced uh, debuff. So we'll have him generate everyone's bravery a bit. Now we will summon up and hopefully unleash a severe amount of damage when we use uh, her Saint's Cloth as well. Oh my god, the way the turns are coming, we actually have loads of time <laughs> before Lel even gets a turn in. That's very unfortunate. Okay, uh, we'll just have her do a HP plus, and then we'll have Kate Sith battery run back up again. We're gonna mug dance. It's probably haven't actually launched it yet. Now I think about it. Now this should, in theory, launch him. And then we can dish out a large amount of damage. And thankfully, due to Lael's uh, energy gains, uh, stopping turns for a significant amount, that makes our fight a lot easier. So I think with Beatrix, we're just going to keep uh, doing Thunder Slashers. I'd like to have her battery, her, her bravery high for when uh, Lael gets his attack off, but if I'm uh, playing it too passively, we'll end up. Uh, Running over the turn count before we kill the boss. And she will do her regular bravery attack. And this is more the setup I'm looking for here. A mug dance to boost everyone up, and then Lael does his thing. So this. Oh, Jesus, that's not a good sign, is it? <laughs> Although we'll get it here now with this. Just do a regular. Alright, I think we're. I, from looking at the way things are going now, I think we've already got it, but. We will play things still relatively safe for the moment. We've still got one more turn left on Lael. But I would think that this attack here should do it for us. And there we are. So that was turn 37, I believe, with a Lael uh, friend. Obviously, I know that's not exactly what people want to hear, but considering I didn't bring one myself, and as far as I've seen, Lael friends are very abundant at the moment. I don't think it's too difficult to meet the score requirements for this. Carrying cells, I would say it's probably very, very difficult. Maybe if it was... Um, if I swapped out Papalimo for cells in the early waves, because um, she can actually deal a decent amount of damage herself. And what we had a good few turns spare there, I think, to ourselves. We got like 220,000. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do a quick few pulls here. Uh, and you'd be welcome to join me. If not, uh, feel free to leave. But I want to get that goddamn cell CX weapon and we're down to our final five tickets. So let's see if we can push for it now while I have you on the street. Well, I'll have you uh, on the video with me. So we've got five chances to get it. Uh, I've actually been relatively... like lucky enough on this one I'd say well I, I spent about 60 tickets and got like three goals so maybe not the most lucky but all right bad start <laughs> so while I'm uh, doing this as well be sure to take uh, some time to like the video and share it with your friends and your parents and your mother and your dog and your sister and your schoolyard friends and your schoolyard bullies with everyone and their mothers <laughs> All right, we're getting very, very unlucky here now. So, as I said, I pulled 60 tickets already and only gotten uh, three uh, five-star weapons, and two of them were cells as 15, and the other ones are 35, which is very all right, actually, when you think about it, considering that I already had Papalimo maxed out and I had all the weapons for Onion Knight. But uh, I really want that uh, cells X weapon. But I'm not. <laughs> but the thing is, I'm, I'm in no way going to spend gems for it. So let's give it a quick go. Look, no. <laughs> uh, if that is indicative of, of uh, my look so far, well, I don't know what else is. But look, that's going to do it for me today. Like I said, uh, if you bring us, if you bring a little friend, you pretty much got it. Uh, and finding a little friend shouldn't be too difficult at this point. Uh, and everyone has a Kate or a Beatrix or a Selfie or something. So, like I said, DPS, strong DPS and two uh, support characters. And you should do fine.
but that'll do for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, consider leaving a like. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.